opportunities there for us now and that was always what it was. We knew once the Olympic thing was over it was just, just people will, would get behind it and would enjoy women's boxing once they saw it at its elite level and it's the same with professional. It's going to grow and it's good to be a pioneer in starting that and if, I think you know I don't want it to be easy. I want it to be tough because then it means more and if it makes it easier for the, the women that are coming behind me then I'd rather it be tough. And, you know I do get tweets and I do get you know people on social media wishing me well and saying you've inspired this and you know you, you get girls coming to the gym just to take pictures and it's a lovely feeling but it's, it's not something that I, I thought I would ever would be but it's, a, it's an honour and a pleasure to, to be someone's idol and to look up to. To be honest, I never actually thought of myself as a, as a role model until after the Olympics and I think it was the reflection of looking back that I thought, you know what, we, we did something great there and we was part of something. But at the time when I was in the moment, I, I, I didn't think like that. To me, I was just I was just a boxer doing what I do and trying to do my best. You know, as a kid growing up, I just never thought I'd be in, in them types of situations, but it's good to be able to speak, speak honestly and speak truthfully about in the sport that I'm involved in and, and try and make it better for the women coming through. If it makes it easier for the women that are coming up and coming through, I'd rather be the pioneer and you know take it on my shoulders and, and, and do the graft and the hard work and break down a couple of barriers so you know the girls behind me have a, have a little, little bit easier. As a new mum and a first time mum, you're always, you know, there's so many I don't know, like things that you get told and you're trying to do what's best for them and not spoil them and you know give them what you can but not too much and there's so much information that you're trying to take on board and do your best that you, you struggle with that for the first, the first year I suppose but once she was in her routine I was left with a lot of time and I was thinking well, what am I going to do with mine now that she's like you know in there she you know stuff that she was doing so um, yeah, and I decided to come back to boxing and it was just it was just fell into place and now she's got her routine, I've got mine and you know we, we spend that time together at home. Obviously she sees me on the telly and she says, Oh there's mummy. Um, but I, I went home with me like traditional two braids and she said, Mummy boxing, mummy's boxing so she knows that me braids me it's fight night. So yeah, it's amazing what they pick up on and, and I'm just happy that she can see that she can see me doing, you know, stuff that's not so conventional I suppose and you know, if you've got a dream and you believe yourself and you work hard and try your best, anything's possible and you can do anything that you put your mind to.